Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, we're gonna look at what's called the additive group of integers modulo n. So additive group of integers modulo n, of integers modulo n. So we're not gonna prove it's a group in this video. We're just gonna talk about what it is and look at some actual concrete examples of like performing addition in this group. So we define it as follows. Z sub n is equal to all the possible remainders that you get when you divide a number by n. So 0, 1, 2, all the way to n minus 1. These are all the possible remainders that you get when you divide a number by n. And the operation here is going to be what's called addition modulo n. So I'll use the notation circle plus, and it's addition modulo n. The identity element here will be 0. So 0 will be your identity element. Let's look at some concrete examples of addition in maybe, say, z sub 4. So let's look at z sub 4. And so z sub 4 is all the possible remainders that you get when you divide a number by 4. So it'd be 0, 1, 2, 3. For example, um, 4 goes into 9 um, two times, and the remainder is 1. Right? So in this group, we would say that 9 is equal to 1, right? because 4 goes into 9 two times, and the remainder is 1. If we do 3 circle plus 3 in this group, so 3 plus 3 is 6, then you say, OK, 4 goes into 6 one time, the remainder is 2. So 3 plus 3 is equal to 2 in this group, or 3 circle plus 3, right? So 3 plus 3 is 6, and then 4 goes into 6 one time, the remainder is 2. If you do 2 plus 2 in this group, so 2 circle plus 2, you get 4. But 4 goes into 4 one time, and the remainder is 0, okay? Um, let's say you did um, 2 circle plus 3 in this group. So you would get 5, right? So 4 goes into 5 one time, and the remainder is 1. Um, let's say we did, um, what's another example that's decent? Say we do, um, we already did 2 plus 3, we did 2 plus 2. Um, what else can we do? Say we had um, 3 circle plus 1. We haven't done this one yet. So 3 plus 1, well, that's 4, and then 4 goes into 4. Uh, one time and the remainder is zero. So that's how you perform uh, addition in these groups. Um, you'll notice that nine is equal to one, right? And like say you take the number seven. Well, seven is equal to three because four goes into seven one time and the remainder is three. Um, again, you can think of this as also being equal to say um, uh, 11, right? 11, because four goes into 11 two times, right? Four times two is eight. The remainder is 3, right? This is also equal to, um, I believe, uh, 15, right? Because 4 goes into 15 three times. 4 times 3 is 12. The remainder is 3. So 3, 3 is really, you can think of it as representing infinitely many numbers, right? So, so can think of this as representing infinitely many numbers. And the reason I say this is because uh, some people, some textbooks, do this a little differently. Uh, instead of using these unique remainders that are guaranteed by the division algorithm, which is fine, um, they think of these as not as numbers but as equivalence classes. And so uh, any of these infinitely many numbers uh, could be a representative of that class. Anyways, for simplicity, um, I personally think it's easier just to use these numbers. Let's look at one more example of addition. Um, let's say we had um, z sub 7, or 6, 6. This would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And let's do, I don't know, we'll just make one up. Let's do 4 plus 4. 
So 4 plus 4 is 8, right? And then it's addition modulo 6. So 6 goes into 8 one time, and the remainder is 2. So in this group, uh, the remainder is 2. Uh, how about, um, let's try 5, circle plus 5. So 5 plus 5 is 10. 6 goes into 10 one time, and the remainder is 4. So that's it. I think I'll stop the video here. I just wanted to introduce this group. It's called the additive group of integers modulo n. Usually n is given as 4 or 6 or some other number. And it comes up a lot in the theory of groups. And again, these are the numbers. Are the, they are the unique remainders guaranteed by the division algorithm, right? Like in this case, when you divide a number by 6, the possible remainders are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So it's the group of remainders. That's it.